Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the video series of Write HTML programs. In this video series, we are going to see sample programs that may come for your March 2023 IT online examination. So, in the video, we have seen program one ka solution. Dekha tha. Aaj hum program number two ka solution. Dekhne wala. So, what's your program number two? You have to write an HTML program to accept name of the employee. Now it's given that name of the employee cannot be blank. Email ID of the employee, then next is salary, and here the maximum value that can be entered. It is written. And it's given data should be sent to the server. So let's solve this question. So for this, I'll be using Notepad. Even you can use Notepad. So first we'll make the structure for this. So it starts with your doc type tag. So that doc type, it's a declaration tag used in HTML to specify the version used in creating web page. So HTML5 onwards, the doc type tag has been reduced, has been trimmed. So here you just put doc type html only which indicates you are writing the web page using html5 now it's a non container tag it means there is no closing tag for doc type then write the tags for your root element that is html tag then create your head section most of the tags in html are container tags means every tag will have an end tag or closing tag the difference between opening tag and closing tag is of a slash so we have head section body section bana diya abhi head section ke andar hum title tag dalenge and we'll give a one title to this web page so title will be based on what uh, content is been asked in the question. Now you can see the question. This question is about employee. So it is asking employee details. So you are designing a form that will accept employee details. So we'll give the title as employee details. Then provide one heading also. So in the heading we will put employee information form okay so you can have whatever heading or title as per the question so let's save this file so i'm going to save this in music form. last time we have uh, created one file under this and we have given the name as HTML question, I think. Okay, HTML form one. So I'll give the name HTML HTML form two dot HTML. Okay. And select the type of the file. Hypertext markup language. If you are working on Notepad, you have to choose save as type all files option else it will get saved in textual format okay. so we are saving this uh, program code in html format by choosing the save as type as hypertext markup language file so click on save button now in notepad plus plus it will show tags in blue color then attributes in red color then attribute values in uh, violet color okay. So it helps you uh, helps you to understand the code clearly and rectify errors while typing. So we have created the structure. Now let's begin with the form. So it will start with form tag. We'll provide a name. We'll say EMP form. Okay. And uh, we'll provide method. By default, method is get. We'll write your post, then we'll provide action attribute. In action attribute, I will write the script file name. So I have created one script file name on my website, which is response.php. 
in actual uh, in examination you can just put action equal to just put any script file name okay so our form tag is ready immediately close the form tag so let's start with the solution for this question so first what all controls or what all fields you will be requiring in this form that to decide so we have your name of the employee email id and salary so there are just three fields so let's start creating the first field provide a label for it name of the employee put one colon here then we'll create this field using input tag input tag type equal to text then provide a name so we'll say emp name short name then put two line space let's create the second field our second field is the email id of the employee so email id of the employee this will be our label then create this input type equal to email provide a name for it we'll say emp email so this is created then give two line space using br break rule tag next is salary we will come back to the conditions given in the brochure so salary is numeric data so it will be type equal to number and name will put emp underscore salary then put one submit button so we'll write input type equal to submit that's all will not provide the face value so the form is ready let's check the output first and then next we'll go to what all restrictions are mentioned in the question and we will use the proper attributes in those input tags again i will double click it so here our employee information form is ready email id salary now you can see the salary part is so uh, even you can enter negative values okay. now let's come to the question and we'll see the restrictions one by one I'll zoom the question see the first restriction given for the name of the employee is that it, should, it cannot be blank so when the user clicks on submit button it should not go to the server without the employee name so employee name should be compulsory so how to make compulsory a certain control in html5 that is by using required attribute so you are going to use required attribute in this control that is where we have designed the text box input type equal to text at the end in that control definition we'll just put this attribute called required okay so you can put in small letters even in capital letters that will do because html language is case insensitive you can type it in small letters you can type it in capital letters you can type combination of capital and small letters. so i'll just write required this is uh, what is a toggle type of attribute it has no value so you will not provide any value this time type equal to text likha tha text ek value type attribute ke liye lekin required ke liye hame वैल्यू की जरूरत नहीं सिर्फ रिक्वायर्ड लिखने से रिक्वायर्ड ऑप्शन ऑन हो जाएगा अब देखिए ऑन हुआ के लिए सेव करते हैं और अगेन वी रिफ्रेश द फॉर्म नो लेट्स सी वी एंटर द ईमेल आईडी एंड वी एंटर द सैलरी एंड वी क्लिक ऑन सबमिट बटन सो इट विल नॉट सबमिट द फॉर्म टू द सर्वर बिकॉज अवर नेम ऑफ द एम्प्लॉय इज नॉट गिवन since we have used required attribute so it will held up there and will give you an error message please fill out this field okay so our first purpose ho gaya required ka cannot be blank okay 
next email id of the employee there is no conditions given then salary mein condition diya hai maximum it should be 50000 max value hum enter kar sakte hain 50000 So, हम सैलरी कंट्रोल फील्ड के डेफिनेशन में जाएंगे और यहाँ पे मिन यूज करेंगे मिनिमम ऑफ सैलरी कितनी चाहिए लेकिन क्वेश्चन में मेंशन नहीं मिनिमम कितनी चाहिए तो हम मिन एक वन थाउजेंड डालते और मैक्स में विल पुट फिफ्टी थाउजेंड ओके सो दिस इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ इनपुट कंट्रोल फॉर सैलरी सो इनपुट टाइप इक्वल टू नंबर वील प्रोवाइड एज एम पी अंडर स्कोर सैलरी then will be the min value min value is not specified even you can just put min equal to 1 will also do and max equal to 50000 so let's check this whether it is working i have saved this file and i will refresh the form so let's go to the salary now you can see it will start from 1000 and it will go up to 50000 you cannot enter 50001 so let's see when i click on submit button it is giving me an error value must be less than or equal to 50000 okay so this is how max and min works it checks the values entered by the user and whether it is in the range then only the form gets submitted to the server else it will display an error message to so, yahan pe hame ek error message aa raha hai agar hum 50000 ke upar value dal the error message aayega hum 1000 के नीचे वैल्यू डालेंगे तो भी हमें एरर लेकिन ईमेल हम ब्लैंक छोड़ दे देन आल्सो फॉर्म विल गेट सबमिट व्हाई बिकॉज देर आर नो कंडीशन प्रोवाइडेड दैट ईमेल शुड बी एंटर ओके सो ये हमारा फॉर्म कंप्लीट हुआ तो अब भी प्रैक्टिस करने के लिए ये एक्शन एट्रीब्यूट में हम एच डी पी एस एक्सर रिस्पॉन्स पी एच पी डाल के देखिए तो जब भी फॉर्म सबमिट करोगे तो आपको एक रिस्पॉन्स आएगा मेरे साइड से कि क्या क्या डिटेल्स अपने भरे और क्या क्या वैल्यूज सर्वर के पास चले गए सो so, ये हमारा क्वेश्चन कंप्लीट हो गया नेम ऑफ द एम्प्लॉय कैन नॉट बी ब्लैंक यूजिंग रिक्वायर्ड एट्रीब्यूट ई मेल के लिए हमने कंट्रोल बनाया सैलरी के लिए कंट्रोल बनाया और वहाँ पे कंडीशन मैक्स इक्वल टू फिफ्टी थाउजेंड का कंडीशन दिया एंड डेटा शुड बी सेंड टू द सर्वर मीन इट शुड हैव अ सबमिट बटन एंड एक्शन एट्रीब्यूट सो लेट मी शो यू द कम्प्लीट कोड of this question to ye hamara complete code hai you can take a screenshot and try at your pc or on mobile mobile pe bhi aap ye practice kar sakte ho using an writer app so one video i'll put how to use an writer okay so take a screenshot and practice this on your pc thank you very much ah uh, before that again in exam you cannot uh, चेक द कोड आपका टाइप एग्जाम में आपको क्या मिलेगा एक बॉक्स uh, मिलेगा देखो जैसे इस तरह का कुछ एग्जाम क्वेश्चन पेपर का लेआउट रहेगा तो इसमें लास्ट क्वेश्चन है क्वेश्चन एट ए एंड बी इसमें आपको एक बॉक्स मिलेगा तो ये बॉक्स के अंदर ही आपको कोड टाइप करना है ओके बॉक्स के अंदर आपको कोड टाइप करना है देखो दो चार बॉक्सेस मिलेंगे तो एग्जाम पे आप क्या कर लो हर बॉक्स में सबसे पहले स्ट्रक्चर बना के रखो और वही स्ट्रक्चर नीचे के बॉक्सेस में कॉपी करके रखो यानी आपका डॉक टाइप एच टी एल हेड सेक्शन एच टी एल टैग बॉडी सेक्शन शुड बी देर एंड टाइटल टैग ये स्ट्रक्चर बना के रखना फिर अंदर जाके आपका एक्चुअल कोडिंग एज पर क्वेश्चन आपको एंड तो एग्जाम में आप कोड सही है क्या गलत है वो चेक नहीं कर सकते आपको पूरा कोड टाइप करना है और नीचे जाके फाइनली आपको सबमिट बटन क्लिक करना है ये है सबमिट बटन यहाँ पे ओके सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर टुडे वी सी यू इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो और नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन थैंक यू वेरी मच